Hey guys, Crystal here. Happy December! It has been a while and I've missed you guys. So, we're back and I've got some things I want to talk about. Um, you know, my, my, my nano journey, where do we go from here, all that good stuff. This is me catching you guys up with where the month is taking me. First things first, my NaNoWriMo. For those of you who don't know, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writers Month, a special writing event where writers all over the place try to hit 50k words in one month. If you succeed, you get all kinds of fun writer discounts and stuff like that. Also, something I didn't mention before is that this is also a nonprofit charity and you can donate, you don't have to donate to participate, but if you do, uh, you help classrooms, communities all over the world, and it's super, super cool. So I was really, I had a lot of fun taking part in such a giant event. It was my first one, so I'm, I was a little overwhelmed. Um, I'd be, that, would, that would be an understatement. 50k words kind of sounds like a lot. I've looked back at old stories, and some have taken me a year to write, and they are over 50k. At, well, some of them are 50k, some of them are over. And when I broke it down, I had to make 1,666 words every single day. Holy crap. That sounded like a freaking lot. I did the right thing. Um, I had some advice from some friends, from some author YouTubers, more on that later, um, that outlining needed to be a thing that I did. So I did it. In October, I wrote up an outline that I was going to follow strictly. And then I proceeded not to strictly follow it. But it helped a lot. When I started writing in November, I was hitting 1,000, 4,000, 5,000, 9,000 words a day. To like stream of consciousness style, I was shocked. Um, but it happened. And before you knew it, I had my 50k. The story wasn't anywhere near done, so I still had way more to go. But that's one thing I can say about NaNoWriMo. It's not a contest in the strictest sense, um, like I thought it was. But it got me out of my own way. It gave me a task, a job, a goal to hit. And I had a story to tell, so get out of my way <laughs> and I haven't written in 12 years I'm a little rusty okay maybe more than a little rusty I feel like my mic is not close enough to my face <laughs> but I wrote and I actually finished my rough draft uh, about a, a week or so ago I'm ahead of schedule and I realized something I missed writing like, you know, when you find that you see that friend that you haven't seen in like ages or you get that comfy bubble bath or comfy blanket feeling, that's what it felt like. It felt like, to be a little dramatic, that I walked away from a part of me and I'm excited again. I've, I've been excited for YouTube and Twitch, but this, this is different. And I'm enjoying it a lot. I also learned a lot during this journey. You know, like, especially now that I'm edit that I'm editing and a friend of mine has helped me out with that. Um, it's okay that stuff sucks. <laughs> it's okay that the plot isn't right the way it should be. It's okay that I have to write entire scenes. It's okay. Perfectionism is a myth. It's, it's normal. It's okay. And everything's gonna work out. Most importantly, I don't feel like I'm alone anymore. I mean, I should correct that. I haven't been alone. I do have some friends who are, you know, are writers or are big storyteller fans and, you know, just generally supportive friends. But I actually joined a writing group for the first time ever. And... It gives me the chance to talk to other writers, to learn from their experiences, to ask for advice without feeling crazy. And if anyone knows me, I'm really good at feeling crazy. 
So that's a thing. Um, I've asked them the stupidest questions. Like whether or not I should be writing in Canadian English or American English because I'm Canadian, but the writing standard is American, but my story also takes place in Canada. So it's... <laughs> I had this whole tizzy and I just put it out there into the world and I got a lot of good feedback from that. And we're going from there. <laughs> Note, I haven't said what I've decided yet because some people find it very divisive and I don't want to piss anyone off. So, that's a thing. They also recommended programs to me that I've never heard of. Programs like Milanote, which is basically a digital whiteboard that I can stick my plot onto and outline it and it's it's crazy. Not sponsored. No sponsors here. Or Pro Writing Aid that not only shows me the fact that I've got stuff so much stuff wrong. Like right now I'm staring at my script for this video and I didn't fix any of it and I've got blue and red lines everywhere. But it also tells me why. And there's articles that are attached to it that you can read for more understanding. Like, it wants to teach you how to be better. And I'm, I'm game. I'm so game for that. I, I, I have a goal. I want to get this out, the, my story out to the world. And I want to try to get published. And programs like this are amazing. And I'm, I can't, I can't under, underestimate how, how happy I am about it. I've also gone off script just a little. <laughs> I do want to thank all of the crazy support that I've gotten over this last month. I was posting every day on social media more to keep myself honest than to flood my Facebook with annoying, I did this much today and I did that much today because I know, uh, you know, I'm probably annoying nine times out of ten. But the responses I got from it, I actually got responses and people were, you know, go you and everything's going to be awesome and you're amazing. And like, I didn't do it to, <laughs> to like have my, my horn tooted, but having those nice things and having people cheer me on, you know, it also helped kept me going. Cause like, okay, maybe I'm going the right direction. And I know that sounds, uh, slightly ego inflating and now I'm, trying to counter that by trying to say that I'm trying not to inflate my own, have people inflate my ego and that's not what I'm looking for and I'm just going to get myself into an anxiety spiral so we're going to stop <laughs> oh this video is a little bit more honest than I was intending I still have a long way to go and I'm super appreciative of all the support all the help that I've been getting I even found um, some YouTube auth author YouTubers uh, like Jenna Moresi um Writing Mom, Samantha L. Nassett, and TM Sparrow, just to name a few, that their videos of like how to how to write plot, how to write characters, how to, um, what tropes to avoid, how to write good villains, how like the amount of videos I've been watching to like help. Like, if I've, I, yesterday I had a question uh, of myself, I, I was trying to figure out why the hell adverbs are so awful, and I found a video, it was like how to write a rough draft, and it talked about adverbs. <laughs> and it's like, if, you know, instead of looking at the adverb, look at the verb, and if you can choose a better verb, then choose the better verb and screw the adverb, or keep both. Everything's fine. There, your, your fun is not wrong, and I love your fun is not wrong. That's my favorite line from freaking Critical Role. I'm starting to talk really fast because now I'm definitely going off script <laughs> and because I'm like, oh my god, more stuff to say. That's that's basically how I wrote my story, by the way. I had an outline and then I went, wee! <laughs> okay. R bring it back. Bring it back. Finding a writing group, finding author YouTubers, finding supportive friends. It's been invaluable. I I can't I can't say enough how amazing this journey has been and the journey's not over. I mean like I said, I'm on the rough draft. I've still got so much work to do and it's going to take a while, but it's been amazing so far. I I can't say anything else other than that. It's been amazing. But now that all that gushing's done. <laughs> what does that mean for the channel? 
uh, since I am still working on the book, the book's not done. I don't know what I don't think I expected the book to be done by the end of November. That's crazy talk. Um, but what that does mean is we're still back. I do still plan on uploading back to the channel. And I don't want to make any announcements because nine times out of ten when I make the announcement, the stuff doesn't happen right away and I feel guilty. And anxiety's fun. <laughs> but um, I will say that there's going to be gaming videos and there's going to be special stuff. And it's coming. We're, we have a, I have a lot of content that I can upload now. And I have a lot of stuff I'm working on in the future. Again, no actual announcements. I'm keeping this as vague as I possibly can. And it's really hard because I want to talk about it. Because there's just one thing I'm really excited about. But I can't talk about it. Because if I do, and if I don't do it, it's like going to be my World of Warcraft tank video all over again. Which I promised the entire guild I was going to make. And then I didn't. It's awkward. I just want to thank you guys so very much. For, for for putting up with this this long coffee coffee stream of consciousness talking and i hope you all have a very wonderful wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next video for whatever the hell that's gonna be <laughs> bye guys <laughs>